I'm trying to think of something that sounds off. Oh, well, they have. Burrito. They've got, you know, like the deep fried stand at the fair mm -hmm. where they're like, they keep trying to top themselves. Yeah. Where it's like a an, an Amazonian shrunken head, deep fried and filled with mm -hmm. uh, nacho cheese. Squid semen. And you're like, mm -hmm. well, yeah, with squid semen. You're like, nobody needs to eat a shrunken head filled with nacho yeah. cheese and squ squid semen. Like, yeah. I realize you want to be like, you want people to go home and be like, hey, guess what I had at the fair? Yeah. But some shit shouldn't be eaten by human beings. Yeah, a deep you know? fried a deep fried candy bar is enough. Yeah, <clears> like enough. oh, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, deep fried radiator fluid. It's sweet <laughs> yeah. and delicious. Like just don't no. Radiator fluid does look like ecto cooler though. I know, and it is sweet and delicious. It'll just kill yeah. you. Yeah, it'll destroy uh, your kidneys. <laughs> it'll just destroy. You. But uh, they they have a new one, and it's oh, fuck man. Deep fried butter. <laughs> oh shit! New sword. That's how I pick up swords. <laughs> <in my chest. laughs> Every sword I wield must come through my chest first. Yes, that actually is true. Yeah. Um, they have a new one at the fair. Uh, yeah, it's like a Dorito with. I want to say it's it's escargot and. Ugh. Um. Fuck! It's escargot. Uh, which we'll call it. Yeah, this is great. I like the the, the big part of the sword too. Right. Ugh, just pull it out. Don't be so dramatic. Emo. Um. Uh, what's shit, man? I'm totally drawing a blank on the name. Fish eggs. Oh, it's at caviar. Yes. It's, it's escargot and caviar, like, on Doritos. Ugh. Why? Yeah. I, 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 do, I do not know. And they're not high quality, I guarantee you. No. Well, those are, they're not high quality. Of course not. And I, I don't know if they're fried or not, or if it's like a battered fried thing, but. Ugh. I just saw it and I'm like. I'm like, oh, that looks cool, because I saw the, the bag of Dorito with like yeah. stuff on it. It looked like meatballs on Dorito or something. I was like, yeah. oh, that could be all right. Then I read, it's like, escargot and caviar on Dorito with, like, what the, the no, fuck? What? thank you. What? I like how unimpressive this scene is. We're continuing to talk about escargot and caviar, and he's, like, cutting glass and kicking swords around, and we just don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about Dante, man. Ugh. <clears throat> Well, they have that deep fried butter. I've never tried it, oh, but it's yeah, they, fucking deep, butter, so no thank you. Deep fried butter, um, and they also sell the itis too. Which one they, was the itis? It uh, sounds very familiar. It's, it's, it's the the burger from uh, the the burger from uh, Boondocks. Oh, what is it's in like, the itis? Uh, like they've got a burger that's like a it's like burger with fried chicken yeah. and a Krispy Kreme donut bun. What? Which is literally like, which which happened recently with the, the uh, world record of the guy jumping out of the airplane without a parachute. But it's like the food equivalent of jumping out of an airplane without a parachute. What do you have a wingsuit or something? Uh, yeah, he landed in a net. In a net? Yeah. But he had a wingsuit. Uh, I don't know. I do not know. I do not know the specifics, but what? it's definitely something to ask Uncle Google about because it happened a few days ago. What? And um, he did not die. So. They obviously did something properly. What? I gotta look this up. Uh, a grim because it, or... at some point you hit maximum velocity. Correct. So terminal, as terminal velocity. Terminal. Even terminal start. velocity. Oh, there's um, a motorcycle embedded in this in this wall. <laughs> oh, that's another rusty motorcycle. Uh, yeah. So if you can if you can you know survive terminal velocity, it doesn't matter how far up you are, except as long as you can breathe. Right. As long as you can breathe, and as long as you can hit whatever it is that's stopping you. Yeah. So. They, I guess they made a net that could safely catch somebody from terminal velocity. Yeah. And this guy, I, I mean, he had spotters and shit. Yeah, I was gonna say, you better fucking make that net. Yeah, he had he had spotters and stuff, but um, shit. it's a, a real life thing. So anyways, the, the itis burger, the two patties with cheese yeah. on fried chicken with a Krispy Kreme donut bun, I feel is the culinary equivalent of of that jumping without a without a parachute yeah, yeah. you got a point like it, it should come with like a waiver yeah um for any future health problems and and a skype call to your family <laughs> yeah like, like, like on the kiosk is a little camera and it's like do you say something to your family before <laughs> we uh we scan your 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 id so that we can notify, next we can notify kin. Next we're gonna kin. need a next to kin we're gonna need a a, a full release and uh and yeah we need to sign this waiver well there's that there's a cafe in vegas it's like that it's the heart attack cafe or whatever really you never heard about this no oh dude yeah like it 
it's a real thing. I don't know if it's still there, but I'm sure it is because Vegas is depraved. Yeah. Um, but there's like heart attack. It's like heart attack grill, heart attack cafe. I'm sorry if I'm screwing it up. Yeah. Uh, I'm not that sorry. Uh, <laughs> we're like sorry enough to actually research it and figure it out. The the burgers are like they're called bypass burgers, oh, and shit. everything is like triple cheese, double burger, triple burger, like extra fat in the meat. Like it's just like everything slathered in butter. Yeah. Like it's just. It's like purposely bad. Wow. And then on top of it, like they sell cigarettes and other shit. Yeah. Like it's just like the the uh, the anti health food store. Yeah. And the waitresses and help people dress as doctors and nurses. <laughs> and like something like if you don't finish your burger or something or yeah. whatever, they like come by and spank you. Okay. Like there's some weird Yelp that shit, man. Not into that. Uh I don't like the I don't like the joking about heart disease thing. Uh, yeah, uh, so many that's, people because so many people die, and you know for a fact that like there's got to be a huge percentage of people who eat at that restaurant and are like laughing about it, yeah. and then six months later drop dead of a heart attack. Oh yeah, like, there's something really weirdly dark. I mean, I like I like sick humor. I know you love a freak show. I do love a freak show, like more than anything, frankly. But that, there's something sort of I don't know oddly irreverent about that like i'll make holocaust jokes but yeah. i don't know something about the heart attack cafe like tweaks me the wrong way i don't know maybe i don't know uh because i'm overweight that's probably why maybe it hits a little close to home yeah it hits a little close to home absolutely yeah there's no mystery there kids there's no mystery um i smell boss fight first of all uh no that's that's uh that's the water that hasn't been changed in oh. like um, and two millennia Okay, I was I was being a little facetious, but now yes, I do I do realize that it probably is disgusting, gross. It's just it's just the water filled That's with not, bile. I understand how you could think boss fight. Yeah, but actually, it's just well, boss bosses do smell like moldy water. So, uh, yeah, don't get me started on that. What you got moldy water problems? No, just moldy boss. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Um, bad bosses. Yeah, I don't think there are good bosses. Except for Trump. Apparently, everybody who works for Trump loves Trump. Oh, boy. Right. I'm like, nobody loves, nobody loves their boss. No. Uh, you know, I, I, I take that back, man. I've worked for some... I've worked. I've been really lucky, too, in, in my professional career. I've worked for some really decent people. Yeah. It doesn't mean you don't fight. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I've, been, I've actually been pretty lucky. So I can't... One of my, I can't, I can't hate too much. One of my first bosses ever at GameStop was she was fucking awesome, dude. She was like super cool, like really understanding, like never gave me shit over anything. And and because of that, I was always willing to come in and work extra shifts and, and stay yeah. late and stuff. Like when you're nice to your employees, you just engender this this goodwill where they want to like pay you back, you know. And the the problem is, is it totally blows the curve for later on. Yeah. And you have a good boss, and you're like, oh, this is how work is. Yeah. And then the rest of your life, it's not like that. Well, some people think that being a boss means being bossy. And, like, no, you gotta fucking lead by example, which means that sometimes you gotta do the shit work. Stop yeah. Judge. You gotta be... I feel like it's the kind of thing where you gotta be the first in and the last out. Yeah. You know? Well, that's the way it is with the military. Uh, like, they don't issue an order that they're not willing to follow. Kind of exactly. Thing, you know? And that's how you engender loyalty amongst people, because... They know that you're not just telling them to do shit that you don't want to do. Correct. It's too many bosses just delegate work that they're not willing to do. So, that being said, sometimes when I'm working on things, I absolutely delegate shit that I don't want to do. Oh, really? Absolutely. Uh, I, um, I, I will always, well, not always. If 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 possible, I'll take the hard the hard job when I'm in charge. Oh, I I'll take mind. the hard job. It's the annoying little things that oh, I yeah. don't want to do. Yeah. I'll be like, can you go get those things over there? Thanks. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. Um, so <clears throat> we were talking about food earlier. It's I've a ghost. A, I, oh, it's a spooky ghost. I've got another recipe. And yeah. this one's super simple. It's pasta on your diet. Uh-huh. So super simple. Uh-huh. And there's no, uh, oh shit. There's a there's only one one measurement you have to remember. That's two and a half cups of water. So you take um, an onion and garlic to taste. I did like half an onion and like three or four cloves of garlic. Okay. Um, saute in uh, in olive oil in a pan till translucent. 
Okay. Then you uh, add two and a half cups of room temperature water to kind of chill okay. everything out. Yeah. And then you lay down pasta, uh -huh. whole basil leaves, and diced tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And by pasta, I mean spaghetti. Mm -hmm. um, uh, basil leaf tomatoes and um, just cook for 10 minutes until done and that's literally it you don't have to drain the pasta the pasta water makes like this creamy like the the starch from the pasta makes like this creamy tomato sauce it's fucking phenomenal so Interesting. you're welcome everybody super uh -huh. easy one pan pasta recipe that I found that I, I freaking love one pan do it and you use all fresh ingredients. You don't use the minced garlic, the pre-chopped onions. It'll be phenomenal. Oh shit, spiders. That sounds um, fresh and delicious. It is fresh and delicious. It's so good. Flesh and delicious. Flesh and delicious. And you can just add however much you want. You want more garlic, just add more garlic. You want more basil, just add more basil. Nobody's judging. I mean, I'm judging, but nobody else is judging. And if it really needs a kick. Uh. Uh, where do we go now? I think I gotta go into one of these rooms. It's a statue of an angle. The guardians of God. <laughs> so it's it's a dangling statue? <laughs> it's a dangling, it's a dangle angle. There's an angle for a dangle. <laughs> dangle angle! It's like if there's a guy named Angle, and he was doing something that was annoying. It's like, dangle angle! So he's getting up in my car and smoking the the marijuana's always always vaping always vaping oh god the vapors here's the problem vapors think that it's okay to just do that shit around people who aren't i'm sorry guys it's still like smoking take it outside no, nobody wants to breathe in your lung air because that's all it is you're just being reminded of it like we breathe each other's air all the time, but we don't notice it. But when you actually breathe out and we can see your air, I don't want to breathe in your air. It's gross. That's how you get tuberculosis. I like that that's why you hate it. Yeah. I hate it because I'm reminded that I'm breathing in your air. Because it's a visual reminder yeah. of breathing in douchebag air as opposed to... Yeah. Would you just go up to somebody and just breathe on their face? No, it's fucking... That's rude. <laughs> I'm just hack and slashing at this point. I'm not even comboing. Right? That's what happens. You just get tired and yeah. end up just like... I don't know any combos yet. I think this is where the staff goes. There's something in Gravid beneath the opening. <laughs> Insert penis here. Oh, it says... It says... It says... Uh, uh, no, the... It says the pen... It says the pen is broken. Oh, the pen not, is broken. Not penis broken. Is where Guardian Souls gather? They, uh, they don't have the credit card chip yet, so oh. you're just gonna have to keep swiping until it works. Okay. Well, I don't remember my pin. Uh, it, it's on your lapel, dude. Just... Oh, okay. Hmm. Bad dad joke. Can I shoot this? Can I shoot these chains? <laughs> Can I shoot these chains? It's just... Okay, so I really... I, I thought I had to put the staff in here. There's something in gray beneath. Uh, this is where the guiding souls gather. What is staff? Of, a staff shines with mysterious light. Hmm. Can't use it. The All staff right. of judgment. Those pants are the wrong color. <laughs> you are wearing summer <laughs> colors after autumn yeah. or something. I don't know how that issue works. Some sort of fashion reference. <sighs> oh, man, it's Dante. He's got the staff of judgment again. <laughs> oh, maybe... Maybe Do I... you need that burger? <laughs> <laughs> Janie, really, two is enough. Two drinks is enough. <laughs> oh, Don't want to become an alcoholic. Shut up, Staff of Judgment. Should be holding something. Shall I use the Staff of Judgment? No, let's not use the Staff of Judgment with the guy that says he's holding his staff. This is really like Resident Evil, the arcade game. I love it. Yay! We beat another thing. Mission clear. That's it's on it's on uh, it's on electric right now. I don't yeah. know what mission symbol is electrified, but sure. Cause it's like fucking uh, Frankenstein. It's creepy. I don't know. 